We meet people every week here on The Real who go off to accomplish incredible things. And every so often, it's nice to catch up with them and see what's new. Yeah. So it's time for The Real Update. Last year, we met Chris Suggs, a high school sophomore from North Carolina who was helping to fight gun violence and create more opportunities for the youth in his community. Take a look. Why is it so important to you for the young people of Kinston to get involved in their community? Um, I think it's very important, and not only for young people in Kinston, but young people in any community to be involved mm -hmm. in you know, local government and serving their community, helping others, because we're the future of that community and the world, really. Yes. So you know, we have to work hard. Absolutely. So what are your plans for the future? Definitely college. That's where I'm going next. Um, I've accumulated enough high school credits to graduate a year early, so I'll be graduating next year. High time on that. That's <laughs> You want to go back to Kinston after college. Yeah. Why is that a priority for you? Um, because it's my hometown, and I've started Kinston Teens there, and I want to continue making a difference and ensuring that I'm building you know, future leaders and the next generation of Chris Suggs and Kinston Teens. So. That's right. Yeah. I love it. So proud of him. Later on in that show, we hooked him up with a scholarship for college worth up to $10,000 wow. over his four yes. years yes. from the Always Up Foundation. Now, not only is he graduating from his high school early, he was accepted into UNC Chapel Hill, his dream Woo! school. Woo! Congratulations. He started working with former first lady, Mrs. Michelle Obama. Wow. Yeah. It's all too impressive, yeah. so we just had to hear more from him. He's on with us now. Hi, Chris. Hey, hey Chris. everyone. Wow, Chris. Hi. I'm so happy you decided to take time out of your busy schedule now that you're booked. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about how you got connected with Mrs. Obama. OK. Um, back in November, I applied for a position on her student advisory board for the Better Make Room campaign. And the Better Make Room campaign is focused on getting students excited and ready for college. And um, she actually was on the reel talking about this campaign, so it was so ironic. And shortly before Christmas, I ended up getting an invitation in the mail from the First Lady to visit the White House in January, where I was able to go there and give her a big hug and actually meet her and begin my term on the campaign. Oh, wow. oh Chris. Good job. Chris, I want to say congratulations on UNC. I did my internship there. You are going to love Chapel Hill. It's beautiful. And I love the work that you do with your community, with the Kinston teens. Tell us again what you're doing and what's happened since our show. Okay, well, our mission is to empower you through service, leadership, and civic engagement. So we've still been at it, getting young people involved in volunteerism, building up future leaders of the community, and just um, making sure that young people are really actively involved in the community and have a voice in what's going on. So we've been really active doing that. Our organization is growing. Um, we have a really great office now that I'm currently in filming this. So I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about everything that's going on. So what's next for you? Um, since I'll be graduating high school in June and then going off to college this fall, um, my plans for this year are to really focus on my academics and then focus on fundraising and um, getting support for Kinston teams. Um, I really want to make sure that the organization continues to make a difference and make an impact even after I'm going to college. That's right. Oh, that. I'm proud of Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. Don't forget, when you're president, you still have to come to our show first, okay? Yes. First. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris.